Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art again, and I uh, plan on, I'm going to do this in a separate post, because I always blab on and I say I'll just stop in a minute, but then I keep thinking of something else. So I want to talk to uh, my viewers and the people that watch us on the, for the Post Ignorance Project. Um, the big, great news today is that uh, Sister Megan's Rice, and probably all of you know this, her case got uh, reversed, and they said that the charges against him were not valid and that they are going to be let out. But that's kind of the summation of it all, that, you know, after all, everything. They said the provisions didn't hold up in court. So they're going to be, they're not going to be considered eco-terrorists. But, I mean, you know, Sister Megan Rice and Michael, I mean, one of them, Kevin told me one of those guys was constantly getting beat up, but that we need prison reform. We need to stop the private prison contracts. I don't know if any of you saw that video, but there's a video out on YouTube that actually shows an auction of a private prison, and they're promising to keep it full. In fact, there was a contract in the Congress that actually one of the Democrats found it, and they demanded it get taken out. But in one of the bills of that handled with prison reform, it was in there, there was a contract they wanted to guarantee it was 80% full. And if it wasn't 80% full, the American people would pay this contractor for an 80% full prison. That's bullshit. We should not have private contractors running our prisons. Our government, that's a government job in my view. If, if the government's going to arrest somebody and put them in jail, then the government better fucking take care of the people. And they need to take care of them humanely. That's what made the United States completely different from every other nation on the planet. Is we decided no matter who you were, we were going to treat you with respect. And that, frankly, is a huge value that has been lost in the United States. And this is, I think, why we have like what I call the teabaggers, you know, and, and people call me names like, you know, left-wing nut. I've been called all kinds of stuff, and, you know, it kind of hurts. It probably call, hurts someone to be called a teabagger, too. But I think we need to just get over having our feelings hurt. Like, we have to talk about things that matter and not call each other names. We have to be specific. That's one of my things I talk to Kevin about, frankly, you know, in our private conversations. Like, yeah, you can't help but call these bastards bastards, but, like, fuck, get over it and stop attacking the American people for being fucking dumbasses. Like me. I was the perfect post-ignorance person. I grew up right next to San Onofre and thought it was a fucking observatory or military base thing. I had no idea that it was a nuclear power plant. And I still... Helen Caldicott came to Eugene. Well, not to Eugene, but up in Portland, two hours away. I didn't even go to see her. Because I had to work. <laughs> like, really? That's values. That's values difference. That's what I'm saying. Like, we need to get back to the point of this. In fact, this is what I want to get back to. It all leads back to Rome for me in this little uh, post. In honor of Sister Megan Rice getting out of prison, or getting out of prison either today, tomorrow, sometime super soon, and Michael and Greg getting out, we ought to honor them by demanding and getting people together to get involved in prison reform. There are a lot of organizations who have been working, but we do not have the millions of people demanding it. And we need to call our congressman. You need to know who your senator is. I mean, your state senators, state senators are really important in this issue. So, and a lot of times county commissioners are. So find out how your state works and go to the state website. It's all right there. And you can even go to your own little city council. Most city councils have a really great little website to tell you how it all works. You can find out what ward you're in, what district, or whatever it is they call you, your parish. In Louisiana, they call them parishes. But, you know, Sister Megan Rice, Michael, and Greg, Kevin told me that one of them was getting horribly attacked in prison because there were some neocons. There was like some you know, right-winger religious people who wanted to kick his ass and thought it was horrible. Seriously. It's, and now that's hearsay. I don't know. We'll let him talk when he gets out of prison. But to honor these people, I think that's what we can do. Along with this fight. Along with... And I refuse to call it a fight. I call it demanding the truth. We want scientists to start telling the truth. We need scientists to start, like these judges... 
are starting to tell the truth. They're recognizing what's happening when we don't acknowledge facts. It's clear-cut facts and basic humanity. What is basic humanity? Not this. Not fucking stabbing us all in the back with a fucking nuclear sign and a nuclear contamination. I mean, it is fucking bad. And I really believe that Barack Obama has failed. Failed, failed. 100%. Whatever you think about him, I personally don't think he's from... Africa, and I don't think he's a Muslim. I don't believe any of that. I think that he was a mixed child who was raised by his white family. He's more as white as I am. Now, his wife, his wife is black. His kids, his kids are black because their mom and their grandma are black. They have that identity, but Barack Obama thinks he's white. And he lies like a fucking white man, too, telling us today the fucking TPP is going to protect our jobs. Really? You're going to tell us that when there's a provision in the TPP that is secret and we can't know about it for four fucking years? Give me a break, dude. I mean, he failed. What he should have done was gathered all the organizations, all the entire nations in the world, gone to all of them and said, you know what, we have got to cover up that bullshit over there or it is going to destroy the Pacific. And here we are four years later and it's still fucking raging on. And it is killing the Pacific. Fucking whales, fish, starfish, the fucking list. And think about the ones we don't even know about. These are just the ones that wash up. What did they say? Who I read this. Oh, my gosh. There is a third more dead sea life on the bottom of the ocean than normal. And you know what? I apologize. I don't remember the article, but I read that in, like, I want to say, like, Scientific America or National Geographic or something like that. They had, like, an article on it. So, but I think if the, they tie in together with the Fukushima thing. Because it's all about a disrespect for life. They're killing us with fucking radiation or they're shoving us in the fucking jails and abusing people. That's outrageous. Tim De Christopher is considered a felon. For what? For enforcing the law. That's what Tim De Christopher did. He enforced the law. It was bullshit. So anyways, I want to encourage people to continue to support us. Kevin is going to go to... Uh, Vienna, Austria, um, we're kind of holding back. I'm holding back getting his ticket because if he can go see with Miss Megan Rice, I was actually going to buy the ticket today. And then he was like, well, just we're going to hold off. I was thinking as soon as he told me, I thought that was a great idea that he'd wait. So it'd be nice if he could go there and go to her party or something. I'm sure they're going to have a party down in wherever her home is. I can't imagine it's in that hideous place where she got arrested but maybe it is I wouldn't live there <laughs> seriously I wouldn't live anywhere near there obviously anyways um, I hope that people support us Kevin's going to need your support while he's in Europe he's going to have a ticket he's going to have some of his expenses but we have to get his mortgage paid you know we have to get a basic amount of electricity and certain home things done for the two months that he's going to be gone. He's going to Europe. He's going to go pro protest because you can't get into this meeting. It is the, it's a conference. It's a spent fuel conference where they talk about, and it's all the top, top, top people of the IAEA. So he wants to go and protest, and I think that's a great idea. And then when that's over, that's a couple days, he wants to interface and travel around Europe and go see things and go talk to people and figure out how do we organize people. Because in the United States, people are complacent, and we've got to do something. Because it's coming our way. It's here. It's here. Chernobyl radiation is here today. Today it arrived on the West Coast. So And Fukushima's been here. So, I don't know how people can just be, like, calm. Like, I don't get that. Like, oh, yeah, it's really bad, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Well, what the fuck? I, I'm not going to be afraid. I personally am not afraid. I don't think we need to be afraid. I don't think having fear about it actually does anything for us. You know, it's kind of like, what do they say? Worries like a rocking chair gives you something to do but doesn't get you anywhere. So, like... 
put that anxiety into action. Figure out things that you can do to force solutions and the truth and get the scientists to tell us the truth. So um, I'm going to post a link to Kevin's GoFundMe page. And it is, I threw it up really quick, you guys. It's not like some, if anybody wants to volunteer to make it look really great, please contact me and, you know, and you can work with Kevin directly. He knows how to get into it. I know how to get into it. And uh, I just, I'm busy. Like, I have uh, midterms coming up. <laughs> I got stacks of tax work to do. And, you know, this is why it takes me a few days to get in between the readings, because I have tons of homework. I'm taking two science classes right now and working full time. So I am, like, super busy. Um, I am going to read a little bit from our book tonight. I'm going to press on. I'll do that in a separate video link. I just wanted to get this out about Sister Megan Rice and my idea that to honor them because they have been fucking rotting in a fucking prison cell for way too long. All of them. But to honor what they do, we need to really get in the movement to have uh, prison reform and justice reform. Like, not, not, not just us, but like real justice reform. And put pressure on, you know, a lot of these judges are elected. So... You know, get to know who these people are and call them and tell them, look, you know, we want you to uphold the Constitution and we don't want some fascist pig up there sending children to jail so that they can make money on the side or, uh, you know, voting in favor of the corporations because the guy that gave your campaign fifteen or $20,000. So, no. And, you know, we need to organize and get the people out. What makes a democracy work is the people. Democracy means the people. And all those people that say, we didn't have a democracy, well, fuck that. Well, let's make it a democracy. I mean, Bernie Sanders, is, and I'm very, 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 very much for Bernie Sanders as president. I'll just tell you this. I know he is not a perfect president. He's for the Israelis. Name me one candidate who will not kiss and lick the boots of Israel. There isn't one. So let's just get real about who can do the job the best and stand up to these fucking bankers and keep the fucking neocons at bay and play their game. He's been in Congress long enough. He's in the Senate. He understands it. So we need to put pressure on these people. Complete pressure. Our state senators, our governors, especially the governor of state senators, and we need to tell them no more private prisons. None. Zero. Take it back. It's cheaper and it's more humane. And we can be accountable to ourselves, not to some hideous contractor making, you know, a truckload of money. And to be really frank, the people that they hire as guards are dubious. I know some guards in my family, who not my family, but they are married, the exes of my sisters. And I'll be honest, those people are mentally ill. And those are the ones that are being hired in the prisons right now. They love to hurt people. They love terrorizing people. Uh, you know, the sexual assault is rampant. And that's, you know, they get off on that. And we need better people. We need, we need people with integrity. And we need to have some honor. We need to put honor back in America. And I'm not just talking about, you know, covering up your tits. No offense. But, I mean, I personally believe in going naked. I have no problem personally with prostitution or drug abuse. I think we need to get drug addicts medical care and provide them with a rational way to resolve what drives their addictions, not throw them in jail. And if you want to be a drug addict, fucking kick, help, help yourself. But if you hurt anybody else, that's when you go to jail. That's my opinion. Same thing with prostitution. Like prostitution's between a man and a woman. I don't could care less about that. But if it hurts somebody, if it actually begins to, you know, get into, you know, the guy's abusing the woman or she's coercing, you know, gets, finds a sucker and then starts draining them of money with her friends or whatever, you know, it, all of these things are, you know, it's about integrity. And we have bigger fish to fry than stupid drug addictions and prostitutes. I'm talking about real honor. Real honor. Stopping this, demanding scientists. The real honor is going to come when we see scientists telling the truth and saying, you know, the truth is 
We had been softballing it for a long time because our bosses wanted us to, but we can't anymore. It's fucking serious. So, bye, you guys. I've been blabbing on on 15 minutes now. I'm going to end. Please do support Kevin Blanche. We really need your help. Uh, you're, we, we put an $8,000 goal down. I think that that's enough to cover his mortgage, traveling expenses, and everything. Anything that anybody contributes will help because we really need your help. Um, and we're hoping to come back with some good ideas on how to organize, you know, when, when Kevin comes back. So I don't know if that will be a reality because we don't know what's going on there and we don't have, you know, if anybody that's in Europe sees this video and wants to connect with us and open your home to Kevin so he could stay with you when you go to little towns because he's going to be traveling around, please contact either Kevin or myself. So ciao, you guys. Talk to you later.